In this video, you're gonna learn why Morfolio Trace is not only my favorite sketching app, but also how to get started on using it. Hey guys, welcome back to Design It Green. My name is Carter, and today is the first of my instructional content videos. And I'm really excited to start off the series with one of my favorite programs and an app that has really gotten me to enjoy the process again of sketching and building concepts in architecture. Now, for those of you who don't know, Morfolio Trace is a really unique app that combines all of the conventional sketching that you would typically do on paper or in something like Procreate or Illustrator. But it also hosts a lot of other architectural tools that make this app very unique and is one of the reasons why I think it's one of the best sketching apps out there. So now that you have a little background in Morfolio Trace, let me walk you through the program and some of the different features that it has to offer. So when you open the app up, you're gonna be greeted with a few different options. You can either open up just a blank document that has no scale or size, or you can open up a custom page that allows you to choose a specific size and a specific scale to the drawing. Now Morfolio Trace does have a true scale factor and you're able to set it up in the beginning or in the document and it will plot according to that scale. Another cool option is it allows you to directly import from a photo or from a group of PDFs or single PDF. I think for the purposes of today, we're gonna stick with those four options and is honestly the options you're gonna be choosing from 95% of the time in this app. So we're gonna go ahead and open up a blank sheet and it's gonna look something like this. The only difference for me is that mine is set to left-handed mode. Now you can change the orientation and some other default settings by navigating to the cogwheel at the start menu. So you're able to change things like stacking layers, creating units, and choosing default settings for your sheets. Now let's head back to our blank sheet so I can walk you through all of the tools and preferences that you can choose within this app. Now starting on the left side, these buttons are gonna be pretty straightforward. The first button is gonna allow you to create a new layer. The second is gonna allow you to add a photo or a PDF. And the third is gonna allow you to create a text bubble or text box to import into your sketches. Then below is gonna be a display of all of your current layers. And if you click on those three dots, it's gonna open up some additional preferences and settings for you to choose from. This setup is very similar to the Adobe style in their layering system. The next group of files is gonna be your general file management and structure. The first, as we already know, is gonna take you back to that home screen that we were navigating creating a file from. The next is where you go to change your file name or to make this into a PDF booklet or add additional slides to your drawing. Next is the help button, of course, for all of your troubleshooting. And then after that is the wrench, which will give you a couple different options. The first is to set up a scale and units to your drawing, if you already know that, for example, or if you want to create it from the get-go. The next one is if you wanted to record your session, it auto makes a time lapse for you and you can export it really easily. It's pretty cool. And the third just gives you some additional preferences to choose from. Now the next tool is the select tool. And this works very similarly to the Adobe products or AutoCAD where you select it and then you can move it to a different place or you can also duplicate it, which is really nice to create things really fast and speed up your workflow. The last tool is gonna to be your dimension tool, which allows you to set up a scale based on the dimension you have. If you didn't know what scale it was in, but say you knew this door was two foot six, you could set it to that, and then your entire drawing would be in correct scale now, and you could do further dimensions and so forth. Now, the next set of tools is gonna to be all of those architectural tools that I mentioned in the beginning. Now, I've never used the first tool, but this is is your AR tool, which allows you to bring something of your drawing or something three-dimensional and display it in the current space that you happen to be in. The next tool is the Smart Fill, and this allows you to fill parts of your drawing that you select with solids or hatches, and you can choose it based on size, rotation, color, and so forth. It's a super awesome tool, especially for kind of concepts and diagrams. Next is a super handy integrated perspective tool, which allows you to easily set up a one, two, or three point perspective and it allows you to choose those vanishing points and make it custom to work for you. The next three tools are gonna be your rulers, circles, and triangles. These can be fully changed in size and rotated to fit your needs and it can also be used to determine areas and circumference and length if your drawing is set up in the proper scale 
and it will display that for you immediately. It's super awesome to do takeoffs and some other dimension things as well from that. Now, the final tool is the Stencils Toolbox, and this is a series of stencils that Morfolio has preloaded for you, and there's a really wide variety, and it's honestly really well done in my opinion. And they also added a really cool feature that allows you to create your own stencils to use for your own to make your drawings unique and stand out from the crowd. Now, the last bar on this list is going to be all of your drawing instruments. So this is gonna have all of your pens, your pencils, your stamps, your erasers, markers, paint brushes, and the roller tool. So you can explode this tab and it'll allow you to change things like the line thickness, the color, the type, and more. You can also click on the wheel to find custom color palettes that are set up as default. And this is something you can customize down the road and create your completely own color palette as well for you to use and save. Now when you're all set with the drawing, it's really easy to export. You can export by specific layers in an image, PDF, or Photoshop document format. So I know that was a ton of info to unpack in a short amount of time, but I really hope that gave you a good understanding and good idea of what Morfolio Trace is and what it has to offer to architects and designers alike. So that's gonna be it for today's lesson. In the next video, I'm gonna be breaking down two different ways that I use the app, and I'll be sharing some tips and tricks on workflow, styling, and more. So as always, if you found this video useful, please hit that like button. It lets me know that this video was helpful to you and helps push this content out to others. Take care and see you next time.